see if he can make him tonight. And nothing doing on the first down play. It's a long. When a big leadership void with Trevin Wallace and the athleticism that he had. See if they can fill that up. It is loud early. Schrader again. Nothing again. It's Rainer. One more. Gunk pressure leaves the pocket, directs traffic, and a hair high and incomplete trying to find burden. All year, throwing and catching the ball. Let's see if it translates. Baron Brown, number seven, is in the slot and in motion. That's a good sign for Kentucky. He's been banged up. Here's the league's best rusher, Ray Davis, who picks up five on first down. Boy, and that's the best sign. Talented receiving group, uh, but they've had the yips so far this season. Davis through traffic, and he's going to set up now a third and short schedule. Eli Cox has taken over at center. With Jagger Burke now. Davis trying to find the edge. He's got it. First down, Kentucky past midfield. Talk to Liam Cohen, Kentucky offensive coordinator, before the game. Following up with what you said about short yardage time, he said, I feel a lot better about in the starting lineup. Huge to get Horsey back. Didn't play the first five games due to leg injury. And I got Cox back at center. And here's Davis. Slip through a tackle. Finds the edge again. And Ray Davis has another first down. And McLean is now in a tailback. And McLean. Nope. They hand it off to Brown on the end of the round. He's got a first down. And the Cats dipping in to the playbook to get against this blitz from the field. You're going to see him out leverage. Blitz comes from the left side. Barry on Brown with the reverse. Nobody backside there because of that pressure. Great call by Liam Cohen anticipating that as they get down to this side of the field, the pressure, the blitz, especially off the edges, ramps up for this Missouri defense. Out of the shotgun. Play action. Quick pass to the edge. And that goes for a gain of six. Made it really simple for Devin Leary, who has struggled this season. Adding those RPOs, allows your quarterback to look at one guy and make a quick decision. Missouri went three and out, seventh play of the opening drive for Kentucky. There he keeps it, and he finds the end zone. It was Josh Caddis to tie it in. They got caught for holding. And on second and eight, they change direction again. Sumo Kongbe with a stiff arm. And he takes it inside the 10. Let's go back to the Brown at 6-1. Going the other direction. Davis out of the backfield. Fifth receiving touchdown of the season, and the Cats are on the board early. Sending down, down, vacating it, and then allowing your running back to wheel on 15. Johnny Walker. That's a defensive end. We talked a lot about Ray Davis. Running the angles, fluid. Through the shoulder, his ability to make every throw really improved his game from his freshman year to now one of the top throwers in the SEC. From the fan base, from his head coach. Something he hasn't always had in his career. There's Schrader, bounces to the outside. And that's going to set up third and short after Zion Childress came in. 14 and three touchdowns against the LSU. No huddle tempo here. Schrader's got the first down. And Missouri will move the sticks for the first time on a gain of six. They dipped in the transfer portal each of the last two years, trying to find a solution. It turns out a healthy Brady Cook is the answer, and he's picked off for the third time in the last two weeks. Quarter tonight. Boy, it's a great job by Maxwell Hairston. They're running a little post-wheel combination against cover three. Hairston's that deep corner. He's going to carry the post route, and he's got eyes on Brady Cook, so he sloughs off to the wheel route and makes a great play just in time. That's the problem playing Kentucky, but an early mistake from Brady Cook. Great visit with Max yesterday talking about this film work that he puts in and certainly has watched a lot on Burton. Here's Ray Davis again. And Kentucky's running game having its way with Missouri. 
called a reinvented big this is heading into the game talk to coach stoops about it i talked to former kentucky center drake jackson who helps with the offensive line before the game he said listen we got to come out and be well yeah basically need to come out and get their angry on early and it looks like they got that going davis is averaging 10 yards a carry here early on great vision to bounce His average is going to go up on that one on the left side of that line now and they're going to Change the window again. This is Isaiah Cummings. And it's a pickup of five. All that plays with the eyes of these Missouri secondary players. And that's why it's tough to, like you said, just narrow in on Ray Davis every single snap. On second of five, Leary to throw. Looking for a screen and too much in his face. Forced a bad throw. Loading job. Davis on third and five. And looked like he got it. Last week in Athens, Georgia just took our will. They punched us in the throat early, and we couldn't come back from it. And they're trying to do the same to Missouri tonight here in the first quarter. Tavian Robinson with a stiff arm. He's got a first down. Kentucky, uh, Youngstown, <laughs> Ohio, he is as tough as they come. And when his teams are great, they share his attitude. Here's Davis, first down. The flag at the end. This will be their longest attempt, third and 11. Missouri bringing pressure. Leary on time, complete for the first down to Tavion Robinson. And in the red zone, Davis is off Leary's hip. Leary on a draw. He's got a lead blocker in Davis, and Larry's got his touchdown run after all. And just seven plays by this Missouri offense, so they're still getting warmed up, but they got to get warmed up fast. That's Weiss in motion, and Nathaniel Pete gets an opportunity running back. Picks up. Trainer was wiping some blood off Schrader's nose after the last break, too. Ooh. Second down six. Missouri needs an answer in a bad way. Cook, the seam, nearly picked again. It was Hairston who was trying. A crowd figures this is a chance to deliver a knockout blow on third and six. Cook gets dragged down. A one-hand horse collar tackle by Dion Walker. And that will bail out Mizzou. Homeless as a child, started his college career at Temple, played there during the pandemic, ended up at Vanderbilt, and now Kentucky, and Leary going deep down the sideline and just overthrew Barry on Brown. We're incarcerated. He said, I don't want to take a moment of this for granted, and man, he is not. Gain of three, and that's the worst run of the night. Hard work, and it sure doesn't hurt that he's a great kid off the field as well. Thousand-yard rusher last year for the Commodores. Pressure from the edge. Larry didn't see it, but somehow he bounced off. He saves the play by firing it out of bounds to the sideline. Wow. Got to find some rhythm. 16 plays so far for Kentucky's 21. Cook on the roll, and it's a drop by Bird. Kirby Moore. Play action, looking deep post. That's well covered. Cook. With the pump fake, will buy some more time, and he scrambles for a first down, and he cuts it back to the middle. What a beautiful run! Right. Great job by. There's nobody out there, but the defensive guy doesn't know that he's got his back turned. And a huge play to avoid. How does a quarterback rise down and just get back into a rhythm? He specifically said that was the key to winning on the road at South Carolina last year. Cook carries it straight ahead. A window dressing on that one, and he's able to pick up seven. Head in there. And Kentucky had all the momentum through the first quarter. Here's Schrader again. He's playing hurt with a pulled quad. Talking with Drink before the game, he said, in the slot top of the formation. High snap. Cook has to fall on it. And a missed opportunity for Mizzou. It's a loss of five. Boy, and had a 
really good play. It's going to be the punted away. Without the loss, it maybe could have thought about attempting a 56 yarder with a big lane ahead. Look at fake it! And the throw to the sideline is caught! Touchdown, Missouri Marcus Johnson! This one go really early. It's such a good play by Johnson on the outside in tight coverage to locate that ball. It didn't turn his head until it was already in the air. And obviously, defender not expecting that Andrew Phillips on the. So, Devin Leary in Kentucky trying to answer. Ray Davis, good vision. But uh, what'd you learn from Mizzou down there? Well, you guys were mentioning just sideline and how it looked and how it felt. I was over on the Missouri sidelines. There was a lot of kind of back and forth. A little it's amazing what just a taste can do. Let's see if Kentucky has an answer now. After the Davis run, we'll go play action. And that's a bullet to the edge. Not much doing for Demi Sumo Kongbe, who was a teammate. At High drop rate for this Kentucky receiving group, 11% in conference play. Overshot, what a near opportunity again. That's Anthony Brown Stevens, a career pass attempt. Goes for a score on the fake punt. Cook will roll the pocket. And the dump off is dropped. Practically slow start, but he's going to get things going. Second and 10, they sling it out. Weiss. Is able to pick up. He never said what beats that was. Osage straight ahead. Pete with the first down. I don't know actually. Play action. Finds his tight end. Brett Northley gets cut down. Northley cut. Last few drives. Let's see if they do again. Wide open is Theo Weiss Jr. And the Oklahoma transfer picks up the first down to 15. Helping Mizzou's momentum. Trader took a hit, didn't go anywhere. Division one lung. Missouri's trying to stay hot in the red zone. Cook. Leaves the pocket, throws off balance, and incomplete. First and goal, Missouri. Manning is the guy in motion. They're going to run it straight ahead with Schrader. And he only picks up one, second and goal now. On second and goal, Cook looking in zone. And Weiss had a go over his head, coverage by Chill. Missouri was down 14 nothing and getting bullied. Fake punt got a momentum. Now they're trying to tie it. Seven on the play clock. Draw and he's taken down. Cook and nowhere. And out of the picture here blows this one up as well. Look to the sideline. They obviously like their numbers. JJ Weaver. Causes that to go back inside. Here's in the first quarter, and Davis a big part of that. Second quarter, different story. Bottled up, found a sliver of space, and he's trying to turn that into an eight-yard gain. Well, he heard a and good chunk of that coming in the first half. There he hands it to him, and Davis with the full head of steam picks up the first down. To double up, and right now. On the move, it's Baron Brown out of the backfield, basically. That's a gain of a couple. I'll say right now. Liam Cohen is perfectly content running clock, but they've only won time of possession twice this season. It's been a very deliberate offense. Play clock at one. Slowest offense in college football. And a beautiful drag down from behind to stop Davis. The problem is, if you're not executing or efficient, every little play matters more. And this one matters big time. And Mizzou comes up with the sack. Ball came loose late. And it was recovered by the catch regardless. 
All right, thanks, Doug. Appreciate y'all. Gain of five on first down. Brady Cook finds Luther Bird definitely have a lot of time here to work the entire field. That was Burden's first catch of the night. Cook looking at him again. And back to back catches. This is where Missouri really gets into the rhythm void. And Cook putting it on him quick. Mavis was in range when he got off the bus. Cook is able to find the sideline. And that's Nathaniel. Pete. of game type scenarios where he's got to be at his best. Kyle Miller in motion. Second of five, Missouri to take the time after Pete went out of bounds. They drop eight. Cook checks down and incomplete out of the backfield to Pete again. Brady Cook's legs. He doesn't get the ball out quick. Blitz coming. Cook protected on time to the perimeter and Theo Weiss, she's out of bounds. Four man rush this time. Cook steps up, runs with it, bends it to the outside before being taken down. Tigers have one timeout. Derek Jackson with the stop. They're looking at his second and about four. They won't use the timeout here. They are well within Mevis' range with that big leg. Cook over the middle. Really quick. They will. Into the end zone. It's Weiss. It is caught. Touchdown, Missouri. And the Tigers have their first running something. Watch Cook get to the ball, get to the ball. And then he's calling out the play they have dialed up. Just sees press coverage at the top of the screen. Goes, I'm going to give my guy or the sideline the chance. And Theo Reese does a great job of high point in this ball against Kentucky's best cover corner, Maxwell Hairston. Well, eight seconds left in the half, and Cats are going to run it with Ray Davis. Why not take a shot with him? Ray Davis. And why Kentucky's had success. And now Kentucky will run it with Baron Brown. A little toss to him. And the ball came loose. Missouri pounces on it. Question will be if he was down or not, but Dre Norwood getting the start at court. For further review, every play is reviewed, and Brady Cook runs with it. I'm really surprised that wasn't at least six seven or the Cook that we saw against LSU. Cook lets it go. Good hands by Theo Weiss, the Oklahoma transfer. Pistol now. Schrader has the ball in his hands. Deion Walker with the stop. So second and seven. Cook, little play action. Trying to scramble with it. And he steps out of bounds. And Cole, you know, it took Brady Cook a minute to get his game going tonight. Good on third down tonight. Swing pass to Schrader. And he gets popped just past the line. It's going to be a ball game and a revenge game for Alabama. The best college game of the year last year in Knoxville when they stormed the field. Much doing on first down. Ray Davis held for no gain. Devin Leary looked down at his wristband. Not sure if personnel group was wrong or he was just confused, but wasted a timeout. Uh, second and nine, pressure coming from the edge. Flags down, connected it with Dane Key. Key will have a first down yardage if it stands. That's his first. On uh, second and 19, Leary pressured and taken down. Another Missouri sack, this one for a loss of one. They five tackles against LSU, third and 20 now. Over the middle and a drop. And he had a career game against LSU. Cody Schrader. Well, I thought he was bottled up, but somehow he got through. So the quarter good football, and you get your own fans booing you. That can't be fun. It's not easy at all. Great little pass to the wide side of the field. And it's Mookie Cooper with the first down on the catch and run. And, and part of that, this is our guy. 
He said all I've ever wanted to be was a quarterback at the University of Missouri. I wish. But they wanted it too. Trader straight ahead. It's a gain of four. There it is. And a lead blocker but misses guy. And it only finds two. Now Mevis has a huge leg. Brown in motion again. Leary pressured. Floats it. It is intercepted by Missouri. Chris Aiden Jernigan is going to come right down the middle in the face. They're trying to hit a corner route, but it's an inside move first, so it takes a little bit of time. This is one that, as a quarterback that's played a ton of football at this level, you got to eat it. Is an interception. The previous play. We want to see if the ball review. hit the turf before Abrams' drain was able to pull it in, and did he have control as he went down? <laughs> On second and 15, pressured again. Larry got rid of it. Jordan Dingle with the catch, and he's buried. They only pick up one. That looked like they had it the first quarter yeah, behind Ray did. Davis. Pressure coming. Larry hears the footsteps, leaves the pocket. Dances inside. There's a flag down in the secondary. Larry showing off his wheels, and he picks up the first down with his legs. He ain't Will Levis either. No, not at all. Maybe he's the best part of his game tonight. Direct snap to Ray Davis. He's doing his best JoJo Kemp impersonation, and he rips off a gain of third. And was out of the sales of Kentucky two plays later. They got the mojo back. As we said earlier, this series never disappoints. Always comes down to the wire. Leary want to go deep and a wide open Jordan Dingle. Dingle still on his feet. And he's out inside the two. And Kentucky knocking at the door with a chance to take the lead. They go I formation again. Here's Davis. Changes direction and Missouri will throw him down for a loss. Chris Abrams drain. Swing after a change of direction. Got his feet underneath him and in is Anthony Brown Stevens. To get this guy to go over top and then beat him back to the short side of the field. Man coverage. Get the defender to commit to the other side and nobody backside. And a great job there by Anthony Brown Stevens to punch it in. And Kentucky takes the lead. Army West Point coming to town. Brady Cook on a play action. It's Schrader out of the backfield. And taking him right at the marker by David Rayner. Luther executive plays. Left due to an injury after taking a shot to the midsection. Trainer surrounded. Deion Walker takes him down. Lee Simpty's the backfield. Cook to throw on third and two down the sideline. Overshot him. And there's a flag and a pass interference penalty. Well, And even if Drew Locke sees in a kick ball at the end of regulation that the officials didn't see. There's always been some controversy. Late release for Brett Northfleet, and he picks up a six yard gain. Looks like he really impeded Wheeze there. A little uncatchable, but here we are. Quickly to the outside. And just as quickly, Phillips is able to take him down. Be surprised, or I'd love. If Kirby Moore just dialed up something easy like that, get the ball in his hands quick. Five consecutive 100 yard games for the nation's leading receiver. Here's Mookie Cooper, loses a man and picks up a first down. But again, what a job when you're trying to get your number one guy the, the ball, but being patient will pay off for Brady Cook. Well, that's what happens when you're at the top of the scouting report, right? Yeah. Cook looking back to the left side wide open is Norfleet. Norfleet inside the five. Second catch. They'll run it with Schrader. And he gets dragged down by big Deion Walker. Boy, Deion Walker. Schrader. No, it's Cook. 
And he gets stopped before the goal line. Third and goal from the one. Derek Jackson got him. And a great play to drive. Cook with the toss. The fake. Cook is in. Touchdown, Missouri. Eye candy again. Backfield empty for Cook. To throw. Pressured. Got it away. Is intercepted at the end of all that. And there is a flag. Alex Safari Jr. got it. Multiple flags in the backfield. Looked like Cook took a late shot. And half the distance again. Here's the end of the play. Khalil Saunders, there's just a mental mistake. You can get your arms around him, but you can't throw him down. If you just let him go or kind of ease up a little bit there, even if Cook goes to the ground, it's just, you can't do that. And that's. Schrader, straight ahead. He's in. Capitalize on it as they just did. A fake punt was the yeah. impetus for Missouri getting back in this game. Ray Davis will get wrestled to the ground. Injury today, Missouri's one and that they had in the first quarter. Second and six. Larry taken down. He couldn't pull the trigger. And Darius Robinson it was a problem in the first quarter versus the run and the pass. You're going to see Robinson there. Just keep contained. I'm going to be outside of either a running back or a quarterback. And then that big body gets right in the way of Devin Leary's passing lanes as well. Leary took it, as Kentucky had tonight. Well, they converted the third and 14. He got helped by penalty on that last drive. Leary loses the football. Dury still has Georgia on the schedule. Tigers haven't lost a division game in the last year of the SEC divisions. Schrader. Couldn't get through traffic and he goes down for no gain. Maybe a loss. Stop the play. Kentucky defense. The weather is worsening as the night goes on, and Missouri has the advantage with wind at their back and the rain at their back. Flea flicker in the rain, dialing up deep, and it is a flag on an incomplete pass. Andre bringing Weiss from this side. To this side of the field, and Phillips just kept his eyes in the backfield here. Sees the handoff. Doesn't notice Weiss running right by him. Does a good job of recovering. That's a ball that if it's dry, I think Brady Cook puts out in front, and that's a touchdown. Yeah, right? There's a quarterback, when you got to catch that, you don't have the laces, right? And it's wet. Cook faked the knee, throws to the sideline to Schrader. Cook two touchdowns, one pick. Here's Schrader in a huge hole. He'll take it in, and Missouri's got a two-score lead. Cameron Johnson, watch this movement by the right guard that really widens this hole for Schrader. He really didn't have to block anybody else. That initial push right there. Allowed You're going to have yourself a ball game. It's interesting talking with Stoops at practice this week about that Georgia game. Leary over the middle. Great hands that time by Dane Key. That's a long time coming. He's got the they stretch a 6-3 frame to haul this one in. Yeah, a little play action backside dig, and you said it. Great catch. Stretching out in the rain. And they needed that to start this drive. Leary goes down the sideline this time. Incomplete. There's the streaky. Confidence thrower. He's got to get one under his belt. That was a great throw down the sideline there right after the dig route. And he's confident, man. He can rip it. Looking for touch on this one and falls incomplete. Pretty short. Here we go, Wildcat. Davis trying to find the edge on the right. And he took it. Wallop right at the sideline and again yeah, second time they've done this wildcat, but you see number four there Johnson That's the thing once it's wildcat you, you know the guy that's gonna run is getting the ball So you just you follow him wherever yeah. he goes. That's a great job of beeline. Jeez Leary pressure up the middle got him out of the pocket again 
And fires incomplete, batted away at the last second. 5-6. Leary. Intercepted! Fantastic footwork on the sideline by Marcus Clark. I said, hey, man, he loves four verts. Great. They call four verts here. But that's not a good call in third and long. There's just no options when teams are sitting back in zone coverage. So as a play call, you're trying to do something that your quarterback sees well and wants to rip, but it's just too much coverage there. Not enough in-breaking routes or crossing. You don't stress the defense. And, and third. But what, what do you do when nothing really is working in the pass game? You, you try to give your quarterback something he really likes, and it backfires. Well, Kentucky been so good in the red zone, but failed that time. And but what he staff when he was there. So it's a, a bye week coming up for Kentucky. And, and they'll have a chance to kind of regroup, self scout, opportunity to take a deep breath. That one is intercepted by the Cats, and they get it right back. Chance to pick up a first down and work towards salting this thing away. And Schrader takes it straight up the gut. It, it, it's some ways reminiscent of what South Carolina the issue, right? Your quarterback, you got to find a way to get him playing at a higher level. And so if, if taking some of the responsibility off his plate pre-snap, simplifying things, playing with best player available for the position, and not necessarily the best fit for their system. In today's college football, can you afford not to? Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be overly picky about guys. They're down now for Missouri. I hear you, but very few programs, using South Carolina as an example, have the window of time and the patience to get a Spencer Rattler up to speed, which is what they needed to do. You're expected to win now, especially when you win a recruiting battle for one of the most highly sought after quarterbacks in the portal. Hey, Cole, let me, let me phrase the question this way. The tempo here that they're going to need down two scores help him? Yeah, simplify. You have a package of 10 to 15 plays at most in these two minute situations. Goes play action and gets rid of it and just a little bit wide and incomplete. But you're right. I mean, oh, they need some urgency. You need to move this football down the field, but it's going to have to look a little different. Missouri brings pressure and they throw Leary down. Leary, one down behind the line. Darius, natural to me. Just confusion here. Watch the right tackle looking outside, thinking blitz is coming, but you got to step inside first, and then if the pressure comes, redirect outside. You can't let someone run through the C gap right there. They're going to come. You got to protect the inside first. And now third and 17. Leary pushed out of the pocket. Intercepted. Taken away by Chris Abram. Interception and the penalty. There's a pocket of black and gold in the north end zone that is still, despite being soggy, happy about this one. They know Pete with the carry for Mizzou. Probably hit the bourbon. Missouri will host South Carolina for homecoming next week. There's Pete again. And the timeout taken to stop. Kicker, punter in high school, playing on the golf team at DeSmet. The job by Eli Drinkwitz. Hit some home runs in recruiting in the St. Louis Metro. Trying to hit one more, by the way. There's Nathaniel Pete. I'll tell you what, Ives, and get themselves ahead of the sticks on first and second down. Really the story of the night for the Kentucky offense. You mentioned the murderous row that Missouri has remaining. Here's a huge hole up the middle for Sumo Kongbe. And he finally gets wrestled down, finally, at the 30 yard line. Uh, here's a little bit of that tempo. Spread formation. This is where I think Devin's going to end up being comfortable. There's Barry on Brown. Abrams drain brings it down. A frustration with what wasn't happening. Wide receiver room wasn't happy for a good chunk of the season. The offensive line had a tough season. And it gets harder and harder for, for teams that are having mediocre, disappointing seasons. Regardless of how the season's going, but 
these guys aren't in the program for three and four years. I mean, the production from transfers on this team is as high as just about anybody else in the SEC or college football. That's the four. Second and goal now. Sumo Kongbe is the running back, and on the Wildcat, Davis is able to pick up a yard. Herbage back to what they were doing two years ago. You have true freshman wide receivers that weren't in that system with Liam. Larry on third and goal has it batted down. Let, let's not lose sight just on the Kentucky side of things. This is a team that won. you don't need balance in a game like that. Yeah. But they're capable of running 150, 175 every single game at least. But not if you, you can't be at least consistent in the pass game to threaten the defense vertically. Fourth and goal. Leary fires to the flat. And a huge hit right on the sideline on Ray Davis.